आज आपका सर्वान वड़ा सतोष आसो दीस क्या तेरा जण आपके भाव दिवकोन की दीक्षा घूंक आयते जा हाँ आयला सेवा दिवक सेवा दिवक नई मुझा सोमी आसो पाटलाव करूं आ जाकी बेसा खीर तैयार करूं आयते जा भावान खीर मगूं आ सम्रमान भाग घूं हंगसर आयिया तुमका सर्वान सेमिनारी तर्फे मोगासो यौकार मगता हम सो सम्रम अर्थबरीत कर तुम्हार गमान थोड़ी सूचना हा कार्या वेर सेमिनारी नमी फोटोग्राफर शिवाय हेर को फोटो काड़ूंक अवकाश ना हा कार्या पवित्रत सामाच इरादान तुम्हें मोबाइल फोन बंद दौरा क्रिस्तवल स्नेह वन्य वैदिक संयस्त सहोद मातापिता सुहत मिशिहु बलिय विशुद्ध शुश्रूष पकुचेरा निवर्म हृदयंगम स्वागत आदिम क्रैस्तव सभ विश्वास परशुद्धात्मा निरे सभा शुश्रूष तेरे नियोग इन ई सारी पतिमू सहोद डीकन्वरोधिकपया डीकन पद ते अर्थम शुश्रूष अथवा दास कर्ता विवीको वचन शुश्रूष दैवजन सेवन स्वयं समर्पुर जीवन धन्यवागटे नमुक प्रार्थिक इन कर्म सुगमि चल क्रमीकरण ऐरपी आदमी डीकन पट तिकर्म फोटो सारी फोटोग्राफर्स नियमित आयु मत फोटोग्राफ विशुद्ध वेदी कटन वन फोटो श्रमिक रामाई मोबाइल फोन स्विच ऑफ अभ्यर्थ
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. be with you and with your spirit. The whole church rejoices, my dear brothers and sisters, as we have these young men well prepared to receive the sacred orders. Before the church, they will offer themselves in the service of the Lord, the service of the altar, the service of the word, and service of charity of the poor and the sick. We are the witnesses of this dedication and the Lord consecrates them for this great task. As we are here to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins and ask pardon. I confess to Almighty God and to my brothers and sisters that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. To my fault, to my fault, to my most grievous fault. Therefore, I have suggested a virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
let us pray. O God, who have willed to provide shepherds for your people, pour out a spirit of reverence and fortitude in your church to make these your servants worthy ministers at your altar and ardent and gentle herald heralds of your gospel. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Now, in these days, when the disciples were increasing in number, a complaint by the Hellenistic arose against the Hebrews because their widows were being neglected in the daily distribution. And the twelve summoned the full number of the disciples and said, It is not right that we should give up preaching the word of God to sow tables. Therefore, brothers, pick out from among you seven men of good repute, full of the spirit and of wisdom, whom we will appoint to this duty. But we will devote ourselves to prayer and to the ministry of the word. And what they said pleased the gathering. And they chose Stephen, a man full of faith and of the Holy Spirit, and Philip, and Prochorus, and Nicanor, and Timon, and Parmenas, and Nicolaus, a proselyte of Antioch. These they set before the apostles, and they prayed and laid their hands on them. And the word of God continued to increase, and the number of disciples multiplied greatly in Jerusalem. The word of the Lord.
judge the people's of St. Paul to Timothy. Beloved, let no one despise you for your youth, but set the believers an example in speech, in conduct, in love, in faith, in purity. Until I come, devote yourself to the public reading of scripture, to exhortation, to teaching. Do not neglect the gift you have which was given you by prophecy when the council of elders laid their hands on you. Practice these things. Immerse yourself in them so that all may see your progress. Keep a close watch on yourself and on the teaching. Persist in this for by so doing you will save both yourself and your hearers. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. summoned his disciples and said to them, You know that the rulers of the Gentiles lord it over them, and the great ones make their authority over them felt. But it shall not be so among you. Rather, whoever wishes to be great among you shall be your servant. Whoever wishes to be first among you shall be your slave. Just so the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. The Gospel of the Lord. आता दिव को दीक्षे रीत प्रारंभ जता सेमिनरी सोरेक्टर बाप उमेदवार 
ते दियो को नची दीक्षा गियों फावो मुन गोली बापा शिफारस करता गोली बापो तंची परीक्षा करन तंका दियो को नचे दीक्षे को विंसन करता क्या बेली उपेरावन गीत गाऊं अम्सो संतोष पसारिया उपरांत गोली बाप तंका शिकोण दीतलो डीकन पट्टम नलगुने दरोला सुस्वर्षगल इपोल आरंभिक गया न सेमिनारी उड़ा तलवनाया बहुमान पट्टा रक्तर चल अर्थिकले अभिवंदे पिदावर मुन्बिल हाजरा कुनो पिदाव अविरस्वीकृत सेशम डीकन मारुडे उत्तरवादी तंगले को बचे उत्पोध पिच्छे गुण्डे वजन प्रगोषणम नटतुन्नो Let those who are to be ordained deacons come forward. Vipin Kumar Tiga, Stephen Rodriguez, Norman John Matthias, Silton Philip Norona, John Clifford Rodriguez, Rickson Montero, Anthony Stephen, Shanto Anthony, Santos Menages, Pradeep Clarence Rodriguez, Pranam Jovin Fernandez, Lanson Pinto, Sijoy Francis. Most Reverend Father, Holy Mother Church asks you to ordain these men, our brothers, to the responsibility of the diaconate. Do you know them to be worthy? After inquiry among the Christian people and upon the recommendation of those concerned with their formation, I testify that they have been found worthy. Relying on the help of the Lord God and of our Savior Jesus Christ, we choose these our brothers for the order of the diaconate. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, a few days ago I saw in the newspapers one of the rarest of the rare photos that one of our top politicians washing the feet of the Dalits. The great man, but bending down and washing the feet of those scavengers who clean the manholes, the gutters and uh, keep the city clean. That is the one picture. Whereas the other picture a couple of days ago in another state, a man who was wearing very clean dress and putting on black goggles, black spectacles, was killed by some people just because he wore good clothes and wear and wore the goggles. Our land is a land of contrasts, contradictions and our land is difficult to understand. Perhaps even our own ways of going about sometimes is not understood by the other people. One little example is that we in India, when we say yes, we do like this, for the Europeans it means almost no. So they say, what is this? Yes or no? And uh, they say it is yes, but what about this? That is also yes, this is also yes. So we shake the head sideways to say yes, which many times means no for the others. Contradictions are everywhere. 
even in our own life for example that we preach one thing and do not practice them today these young men will be told that believe what you read teach what you believe and practice what you teach no contradictions but consistency in whatever is being done as a kind of a sign for the people in the world around us that it's only consistency that gives meaning and if the contradictions are converging at any moment then that convergence would give a meaning i'll explain what this convergence is if the lord jesus being lord and master if he could command his disciples to wash his feet as per traditions if he can choose to be contradicting that very practice as to bend down and wash the feet and take up the form of a slave well that contradiction converging at a point which we are supposed to imitate you may be very high great in position but you can choose to bend yourself on your own willingness by your free choice not by constraint then that kind of convergence of the opposites is very meaningful that brings about growth perhaps a little philosophical i don't know whether it is but that is how life is made of it is not always straight lines it has got many sideways lines coming together the gospel is what that example is telling us about jesus says that people of the world the others lord it over them but it shall not be so among you it shall not be so one of the ministries that the lord has instituted in the church through the apostles is the diaconate i feel this is the original contribution of the new testament whereas the episcopate or presbyterate are already existing in one form or the other the bishop is the high priest and high priest existed much before christianity the priests were there already in the temple of jerusalem and the sons of aaron sons of levi had that task but when it comes to the deacons as mere servants the slaves as a ministry the slaves ministry of slaves is certainly very unique and the apostles as it is said in the first reading ask the gathered church to propose the names what pope francis talks about a synodal church where the people coming together and proposing the candidates after discussion prayer discernment and the pastors give concurrence and there emerges this new order in the church very typically of the new testament diaconate as it is said in the prayer of consecration of the deacons that this ministry is said that it began with the apostles who were led by the holy spirit appointed seven men of good repute to help them in their daily ministry so that they might devote themselves more fully to prayer and preaching of the word and these seven at the church of jerusalem were assigned to serve at the table not merely at the table to dispense the food for the widows but they were great evangelizers like stephen great witnesses like philip and uh, there were others too who have laid down their life though not much is recorded ultimately they were supposed to help the apostles so that the apostles could devote their own life at the service of prayer and the word the first reading gives us the names of deacons of the early church of jerusalem there are other churches like rome 
we have known some other deacons like Lawrence who had given us great testimony. The inspiration for these candidates who are 13 in number is certainly the deacons whom we heard were doing the task in the first reading. Ministry of Prayer, Ministry of Contemplation, Ministry of the Word, of the Altar, Charity, to assist the Bishop and the Presbyters. As ministers of the altar, where they also proclaim the word of God, the gospel, and exhort the believers, and during catechesis and otherwise, they exhort also the non-believers regarding the teaching of the Lord and His church. They will preside over public prayer at the communion service, administer the baptism in the Latin church, certainly, assist and bless the marriages and conduct funeral rites all connected with the preaching of the word service of the altar then they have also to do the special task of preparing for the sacrifice of the holy eucharist distribute the lord's body and blood to the faithful and bring the viaticum to the sick and the dying plenty of work and in the early church, they were also given the task of administration of the public goods and the estates of the church. Consecrated by the laying on of hands that comes from the apostles and we have maintained that tradition of conferring this order together with the other two degrees by the laying on of hands, the Holy Spirit is communicated to them so that they become the co-workers of the bishop and the pastors. The Lord who came not to be served but to serve and gave his life for the redemption of sinful humanity is their model whom they have to imitate. They are called to do this service with the unassuming authority and purity of innocence and the observance of spiritual discipline. These are the words from the prayer of consecration. Dear brothers, as deacons you are called upon to resemble Christ who bends over near the feet of the apostles, washing their feet, not like the politician just for the sake of a photograph or for a political mileage. Today photographs are taken from here. Perhaps you will see for a couple of times and the videos are taken. But not for that sake you are going to be ordained. Your words and your deeds must make Christ known and loved. That should be your watchword to make Christ known and loved. The paradigm that Jesus gives of himself is very, very demanding. This little gesture of bending over and washing is not a small task. You shouldn't say it is just putting water and just pouring some water and wiping the feet. Not at all. It is much more. It is really giving of your total self without reserve. And that when you give yourself totally to the service of the Lord, you will find peace, inner joy. You will be truly a minister, a doulos, a slave, a servant. While showing the contrast the Lord has given us, the wonderful example, and we should take up as primary task as Vatican II has explained to us, the primary task of a deacon is certainly the proclamation of the word, because the word generates the faith. And faith is necessary for salvation. If you don't preach, don't prepare well the homily, the people's faith will not be built up and you will be also held responsible for their loss of the salvation. Because this ministry of the word lays on you a great burden. And the ordination that you receive today will be your judgment that that day you promised and today you have not done it. This day itself is your judgment. Remember that. And therefore, how best you could prepare yourself to preach and proclaim the word of God, 
that would be your contribution for the building up of the church by the proclamation which builds up the faith of the people which is necessary for salvation as you have accepted that god has chosen you you have accepted to make god's dream come true in the life of the church collaborate with him continuously make that great vision of jesus a reality bring it to fruition cultivate within yourselves the attitude of christ the servant be the faithful servants of the lord bearers of the good news of salvation ata gouli bapu dio kona chi diksha geun cha umedwaran chi basaun yoge tha ippol abhivande pidava arthigalude vagdanangal svigirikunu my dear brothers before you proceed to the order of the diaconate you must declare before the people your resolve to undertake this office do you resolve to be consecrated for the ministry of the church through the laying on of my hands and the gift of the holy spirit i do do you resolve to discharge with humble charity the office of the diaconate so as to assist the priestly order and to benefit the christian people i do do you resolve to hold fast to the ministry through the mystery of the faith with a clear conscience as the apostle says and to proclaim this faith by word and deed according to the gospel and the church's tradition i do Those of you who are prepared to embrace the celibate state do you resolve to keep this commitment perpetually as a sign of the dedication of your life to Christ the Lord for the sake of the kingdom of heaven in service to God and others I do Do you resolve to guard and increase the spirit of prayer proper to your way of life and in keeping with this spirit and the circumstances of your life to celebrate faithfully the liturgy of the hours with and for the people of god and indeed for the whole world I do you resolve to conform your manner of life always to the example of christ whose body and blood you will handle at the altar Do you promise respect and obedience to your ordinary may God who has begun the good works in you bring it to fulfillment Do you promise respect and obedience to your ordinary May God who has begun the good work in you bring it to fulfillment. Do you promise respect and obedience to me and to my successors? I do. May God who has begun the good work in you bring it to fulfillment.
do you promise respect and obedience to the diocesan bishop and to your legitimate superior may god who has begun the good work in you bring it to fulfillment Do you promise respect and obedience to the diocesan bishop and to your legitimate superior? May God, who has begun the good work in you, bring it to fulfillment. Do you promise respect and obedience to your ordinary? May God, who has begun the good work in you, bring it to fulfillment. Do you promise respect and obedience to the diocesan bishop and to your legitimate superior? May God, who has begun the good work in you, bring it to fulfillment. Do you promise respect and obedience to your ordinary? May God, who has begun the good work in you, bring it to fulfillment. Do you promise respect and obedience to the diocesan bishop and to your legitimate superior? May God, who has begun the good work in you, bring it to fulfillment. Do you promise respect and obedience to me and to my successors? May God, who has begun the good work in you, bring it to fulfillment. Do you promise respect and obedience to the diocesan bishop and to your legitimate superior? May God, who has begun the good work in you, bring it to fulfillment. Do you promise respect and obedience to me and my successors? May God, who has begun the good work in you, bring it to fulfillment. Do you promise respect and obedience to your ordinary? May God, who has begun the good work in you, bring it to fulfillment. आता आम्ही संतभक्तांची लदिन गावनो त्यांची मजत आमच्या बाबांचेर मागिया लदिन गायत असताना समयस्थानी दिंबी घालची तंगरुडे संपूर्ण समर्पणतिंडे प्रतीकमाय अर्थिगळ इपोल साष्टांग प्रणामम छेयनो तत्समयम गायक संगम सगल विशुद्धरुडे प्रार्थना माला आलपिकिनो ई समयम विश्वासिगळ मुट्टुगुतिनिनगोंड ഇവർക്ക് വേണ്ടി പ്രാർത്ഥിക്കുന്നു ലെറ്റ് എസ് പ്രേ ഡിയർലി ബിലവൻ ദെ ഗോഡ് ദി ഓൾമൈറ്റി ഫാദർ വിൽ ഇൻ ഹിസ് മേഴ്സി ഫർ ഔട്ട് ദ ഗ്രേസ് ഓഫ് ഹിസ് ബ്ലെസ്സിംഗ് ഓൺ ദീസ് ഹിസ് സർവൻസ് ഹോം ഹി ഇസ് പ്ലീസ് ടു റിസീവ് ഇൻ ടു ദ സീക്രട്ട് ഓർഡർ ഓഫ് ദ ഡയക്നെറ്റ് Saint Mark 
St. Peter and St.
Mercifully hear our prayers and kindly accompany with your help what we are about to do by virtue of our office. Sanctify with your blessing those whom in your judgment we believe are worthy to be offered for the exercise of sacred ministries through Christ our Lord. Amen. आता गौली बाप हरी एक उमेदवार हाथ दौर तेर पवित्र रत्म्या देणी आणि कुरपा लाभो म्हण मौनपणे मागता उपरांत उमेदवार गौली बाप समारपणे मागणे म्हणतो मागणे म्हणत असताना आम्ही सोमेस्तानी दिंडी घालची इनते तिरकर्मगळीले ऐटू प्रधानपेट भागमाय कैवेप प्रार्थनेयान इन नडकुग ആദ്യമ സഭയിൽ തിരഞ്ഞെടുക്കപ്പെട്ടവരുടെ ശിരസിൽ കൈവച്ച് അപ്പോസ്തലന്മാർ പ്രാർത്ഥിച്ചതുപോലെ അവരുടെ പിൻഗാമിയായ മെത്രാൻ അർത്തിയുടെ ശിരസിൽ കൈവച്ചുകൊണ്ട് നിശബ്ദമായി പ്രാർത്ഥിക്കുന്നു തദവസരത്തിൽ വിശ്വാസികൾ മുട്ടുകുത്തി നിന്നുകൊണ്ട് ഇവർക്ക് വേണ്ടി പ്രാർത്ഥിക്കുന്നു
Almighty God, giver of every grace, who apportion every order and assign every office, while remaining unchanged, you make all things new, and setting all things in order with everlasting providence, you make due provision for every age through your word, your power, and your wisdom, Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. You grant that your church, his body, adorned with manifold heavenly graces, drawn together in the diversity of our members, and united by a wondrous bond through the Holy Spirit, should grow and spread forth to build up a new temple. As once you chose the sons of Levi to minister in the former tabernacle, so now you establish three ranks of ministers in their sacred office to serve your name. Thus, in the first days of your church, your sons apostles, led by the Holy Spirit, appointed seven men of good repute to help them in the daily ministry, so that they might devote themselves more fully to prayer and the preaching of the word. By prayer and the laying on of hands, they entrusted to these chosen men the ministry of serving at table. Look favorably also on these your servants, we pray, O Lord, whom we humbly dedicate to serve at your holy altars in the office of the diaconate. Send forth the Holy Spirit upon them, O Lord, we pray, that they may be strengthened by the gift of your sevenfold grace to carry out faithfully the work of the ministry. May every evangelical virtue abound in them, unfeigned love, concern for the sick and the poor, unassuming authority, the purity of innocence, and the observance of spiritual discipline. May your precepts shine forth in their conduct, that by the example of their manner of life, they may inspire the imitation of your holy people. In offering the witness of a good conscience, may they remain firm and steadfast in Christ, so that imitating your Son on earth, who came not to be served but to serve, they may be found worthy to reign with Him in heaven, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Ata ume duarang dio konaji mustai kine seitale. Ipol navadikan mare bohmana petta vaidigar tiru vastran teri pikino. कुनांग बरी कबर पर गट कर ची जाओ दरिया सा मुल्ले सो गुर्तु जाऊन गोली बाप तंचा हातांत स्वर्ग जसो पुस्तक दितलो अभिवंदित पिताव पुद्दाई अभिशेगम चीये पेटा डीकन बाग इपोल सुविशेष ग्रंथम नलगुन्दो इधर वजन सुस्पोष गड़ाया अवरोधे कड़मगले सूची पीगुन्दो Receive the gospel of Christ, whose herald you have become. Believe what you read, teach what you believe, 
and practice what you teach. Receive the gospel of Christ whose herald you have become. Believe what you read, teach what you believe and practice what you teach. Receive the gospel of Christ whose herald you have become. Believe what you read, teach what you believe and practice what you teach. Receive the gospel of Christ whose herald you have become. Believe what you read, teach what you believe and practice what you teach. Receive the gospel of Christ whose herald you have become. Believe what you read, teach what you believe and practice what you teach. Receive the gospel of Christ whose herald you have become. Believe what you read, teach what you believe and practice what you teach. Receive the gospel of Christ whose herald you have become. Believe what you read, teach what you believe and practice what you teach. Receive the gospel of Christ whose herald you have become. Believe what you read, teach what you believe and practice what you teach. Receive the gospel of Christ whose herald you have become. Believe what you read, teach what you believe and practice what you teach. Receive the gospel of Christ whose herald you have become. Believe what you read, teach what you believe and practice what you teach. Receive the gospel of Christ whose herald you have become. Believe what you read, teach what you believe and practice what you teach. Receive the gospel of Christ whose herald you have become. Believe what you read, teach what you believe and practice what you teach. Receive the gospel of Christ whose herald you have become. Believe what you read, teach what you believe and practice what you teach. एक वटसो अनि मोगसो गुरुतु जाऊनु गौली बाप दियोको नाम शांति पाटेतलो इपोल अभिवंदे पिताव डीकन मार्क समाधान चुम्बनम नलगुनु तदनंतरम साधारण बोले परिशुद्ध बेली तुडेरुनु
pray, dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord grant us a sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and good of all His holy church. Holy Father, whose Son chose to wash the disciples' feet and so set us an example, accept, we pray, the oblations of our service and grant that offering ourselves as a spiritual sacrifice, we may be filled with the spirit of humility and zeal through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them unto the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, you made your only begotten Son, High Priest of the new and eternal covenant, and by your wondrous design were pleased to decree that many ministries be exercised in the church. For Christ not only adorns with the royal priesthood, the people he has made his own, but with a brother's kindness he also chooses man to become sharers in his sacred ministry through the laying on of hands. He chooses them to lead your holy people in charity, to nourish them with your word and strengthen them with the sacraments. And they give up their lives for you and for the salvation of your brothers and sisters. They strive to be conformed to the image of Christ himself and offer you a constant witness of faith and love. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as in exaltation we acclaim. Holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to his setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, 
take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you In a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and giving you thanks he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me the mystery of faith Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look kindly, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your son and filled with his holy spirit may become one body one spirit in christ may he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with you are he like especially with the most blessed virgin mary mother of god with blessed joseph her spouse with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help may the sacrifice of our reconciliation we pray o lord advance the peace and salvation of all the world be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant francis our pope and peter paul our bishop the order of bishops all the clergy and the deacons who are anointed today and the entire people you have gained for your own listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you in your compassion o merciful father gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world to our departed brothers and sisters and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life give kind admittance to your kingdom where we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord through whom you bestow on the world all that is good through him and with him. Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to sing.
deliver us lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our savior jesus christ glory be to the lord and the glory be to us now and forever lord jesus christ who set your apostles peace i leave you my peace i give you look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever amen the peace of the lord be with you always and with your spirit let us offer each other the sign of peace Behold him who takes away the sins of the world blessed are those called to the supper of the lamb
let us pray. Grant, O Lord, to your servants whom you have replenished with heavenly food and drink, that for the sake of your glory and the salvation of the believers, they may be found faithful as ministers of the gospel, of the sacraments of charity, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May God, who has called you to the service of others in His church, give you great zeal for all, especially the afflicted and the poor. Amen. May He, who has entrusted you with preaching the gospel of Christ, help you as you live according to His word to be its sincere and fervent witnesses. Amen. May he who has appointed you stewards of his mysteries make you imitators of his Son, Jesus Christ, and ministers of unity and peace in the world. Amen. And may Almighty God bless all of you who are gathered here, the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Please be seated. My dear friends, today we director, staff and students of St. Joseph Seminary along with the church rejoice and sing Magnificat in polyphony to God for the gift of 13 new deacons. During the summer, seven of our students were ordained deacons in their own respective dioceses and there are eight more to be ordained a little later. So altogether, we are blessed with 28 deacons this year, praise the Lord. To all our new deacons, we say congratulations and best wishes. May God, who has begun the good work in you, dear deacons, may bring it to completion, elevating you in good time to the order of priesthood. I greet and thank the parents, relatives, friends and benefactors of our new deacons who have come here and those who have followed this ceremony live and pray God's blessings on all of them. Within two, three days we were able to organize this program. We reopened just on the 1st of June, three days ago. While we appreciate the generous offering of the parents, their sons or their relatives to the church, we pray that the Lord grant them in a hundredfold joy, peace, health and happiness. I wish to thank our Bishop, Most Reverend Dr. Peter Paul Saldana for presiding over this solemn ceremony and confirming the order of diaconate on our 13 students. Dear Bishop, we are immensely grateful to you for your love and kindness. May God bless you and grant you good health and energy to shepherd the Church of Mangalore. We acknowledge the presence of so many priests, mostly our own students, who have concelebrated this festive mass bringing us joy and lifting our spirits. I just want to acknowledge the presence of other Baptist managers representing Udupi Diocese, Monsignor Jensen Putanvitil, Vicar General Diocese of Calicut, Monsignor Maxim Norona, Vicar General Diocese of Mangalore, Father Melvin Norona, the Superior of St. Joseph's Monastery here in Vikarnakate, and Father Dominic, 
he is also a carmelite the parish priest of bajodi dear fathers we are grateful to you thank you dear fathers for your presence and for your prayers a celebration like this is impossible without the cooperation of the staff and students i thank all the staff members and our seminarians from the depth of my heart and appreciate their goodwill thank you one and all may god bless you have a pleasant evening the thankful heart opens our eyes to a multitude of blessings that continuously surround us i along with the newly ordained deacons with thankful heart praise god for having called us and blessed us and showered his immense love by bringing us a step closer to the eternal priesthood of his son our lord jesus christ we are immensely grateful to his excellency most reverend dr peter paul saldana the bishop of manglu diocese for presiding over the eucharistic celebration and conferring on us the order of diaconate thank you your lordship for your gracious presence our sincere gratitude is also to our respective bishops superiors for their support prayers and guidance in our formation to the priesthood i would like to place on record our indebtedness to our rector very reverend father ronald saravo for his paternal love and care for making all the necessary arrangements for the diaconate we remain eternally grateful to our spiritual fathers all our professors formators superiors and our parish priest for leading us in our onward journey to the altar of the lord we anticipate your guidance in the future too we also wish to express our gratitude to our parents priests all the religious sisters and seminarians relatives benefactors well wishers friends for participating and praying for us in this holy eucharist we thank all especially brothers mcs sacristans commentators choir members sound system in charges photographer videographer and the liturgical team for their well knit cooperation thank you dear friends and fathers we express a heartfelt thanks to reverend father navin pinto the administrator for the warm hospitality to our guests we also thank the domestic staff for their invaluable service to our community permit me to mention our appreciation to our classmates both resident and non resident and all the brothers of our seminary for their support and cheerful presence thank you dear friends a hearty thanks to one and all I would like to express my congratulations to all of you dear deacons ordained now today 13 and uh, the former ones ordained during the summer vacation congratulations may god bless you and also congratulations to the parents family members that you could see the the fruit of your labor of your faith that your sons your family members have come forward to dedicate themselves to the service of the lord and i thank and each and every one especially the rector and the seminary staff the formators and all the formators at uh, the monastery the uh, the carmelites and uh, would be diocese and everyone for that matter whoever is present from calicut our uh, diocese and everyone all the fathers brothers sisters and friends for your presence god bless you pray for us pray for the deacons thank you नव्या दियकोनाक उल्लास सोंको आनी बोरे मागोंक आयिल्ल्या तांच्या कुटुंबांचाक आनी 
सर सैर काफी फुलर मांडवल के देखुन मंगलोर उड़ुपी डी एस सी बाबा सर कुटमानी सैर निमाने गीत समतस देव मंदिर दरवट भाई वे थी जान भाव तुमका शताब्दी सलाक आपोन वरते खर्मेलीत दियोकोन कुटमादार सैर खर्मेलीत बाबा मार्गदर्शन काल मरिया मंदिर सलांत संगता मेलचे स्नेह ऐल अतिथि और चाय सलकार मलया चापलि मुंवशत ब्रदर्स निजिका भे Yeah, thank you. Don't stand over here. See you tomorrow.